Hello and greetings from the Tennessee Department of Human Services. Today we will demonstrate for you how to upload verification documents for SNAP and Families First applications in the One DHS Customer Portal. When applying for family assistance programs like SNAP or Families First, applicants are often asked to include documents to verify the information provided in their applications, also known as verification documents. These include documents such as proof of identity, proof of residence, proof of income, proof of shelter costs, and other household information. Submitting this information to TDHS can be done easily without visiting a TDHS office by using the One DHS Customer Portal. This video will demonstrate how the actions are done when working on a computer. However, these steps can also be followed on a smartphone to upload verification documents. The One DHS Customer Portal puts the service of DHS at our customer's fingertips. To use the One DHS Customer Portal, an account with DHS must be created, which requires a valid email account. Start by visiting the One DHS Customer Portal at onedhs.tn.gov. You can also reach the One DHS Customer Portal by visiting the TDHS website at tn.gov forward slash human services and selecting from the self-service tools menu. To create an account, click on self-service tools at the top of the page and select create a one DHS account. If the customer already has an account and wishes to upload a document, they will select family assistance file upload. If an account already exists, enter the email address and password. Click log in. If the customer does not have an account, click create one here. To create an account, the customer must enter information with an asterisk. First name, last name, and their email address are required fields. The customer will scroll down the screen to enter and confirm a password. The customer must enter a password and re-enter to confirm. The password must be at least eight characters in length, must include at least one uppercase letter, and must include one lowercase letter, must include at least one number, and must include at least one special character. On the same page, the customer must agree to the customer service terms and conditions and select, I am not a robot. After the account has been created, the customer will have to go to their email to confirm. The email confirmation will look like this. Simply click, click here. The customer will be redirected to the link verified page confirming their account. This is the screen confirming the new OneDHS account has been created. To begin the file upload process, the customer will need to log in to their OneDHS account using the email address and password used to set up their OneDHS account. The customer will be directed to the OneDHS landing page once they are logged in. From here, the customer will scroll down the page and find the square box titled Family Assistance File Upload. The customer will click on Family Assistance File Upload. The customer is asked do you need to see instructions and information in a language other than English? After the customer makes their selection, they will select Next at the bottom of the page. The customer is then presented with the department's statement of non-discrimination. They can proceed by clicking Next at the bottom of the page. Notice the customer's first name, last name, and date of birth are pre-populated. This information originated from the creation of their One DHS account and login. These are also mandatory information fields. The customer can enter additional identifying information such as their social security number and case number. County of residence is also a mandatory field. The customer will select the county in which they reside. If a county is not selected, they will not be able to proceed. Next, at the bottom of the page, the customer will select the type of document that is being uploaded. For example, application, or verification. Please note, the customer cannot proceed past this page unless the county of residence and document type have been selected. Only one document can be uploaded at a time. In this example, customer selected verification. Next step, select add file. The customer will be directed to select a file. The file to be uploaded must be a PDF. 
if using a phone, the customer is given the option to take a photo or use a photo from their library. Customer selects the document from their files they wish to upload and click Open. The document is then attached to their OneDHS account and ready to upload. Their PDF verification has been attached to their DHS account and it's ready to submit. Click Submit to upload the document. Remember, only one document can be uploaded at a time. If the customer wishes to upload another document, select the orange button. The customer also has the option of uploading another document on behalf of another person. If the upload is done, select Completed Uploading All Files. The customer will then be directed to the confirmation of receipt page that they can print for their records. If they are done, select Log Out at the top of the page. This concludes the instructions for uploading family assistance documents. Thank you for trusting the Department of Human Services to assist you on your journey. For more information on TDHS programs and services, visit tn.gov forward slash human services.